Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and today I'm going to do a throttle stop tutorial for a lot of you guys who are asking how to tune your Triton 300 with it. And a big disclaimer here, I am not a computer engineer so follow this tutorial at your own risk, every laptop is different. This is based off the video that AK Addict has created, I place this link down in the description below. If you want to find out more, do check out the link below. My method of tuning my laptop is a variation of his video. So without further ado, let's go. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about um, how can I reduce the temperature on my Triton 300 and a very big disclaimer, I'm not a computer engineer and sort, so if you're going to follow me and, and to follow the settings that I place, this will be uh, at your own risk. So first things first, um, if you're using the Acer Triton 300, you can actually use Predator Sense to check on the temperature of your CPU, GPU and your system. And some of you guys might be wondering why am I not using the Intel Extreme Tuning utility and that's because whenever I set the my my settings and I click apply and save whenever I restart the computer it does not save that setting that I want so we are not going to use this and I find that there are a lot, a lot of limitations that you can't use with this and it, it did not work even after I've undervoted and I tried playing some games so we are going to download Trotto stop. You can get it from techpowerout.com and the link is in the description below. And once you've downloaded it, it would appear as a zip file. Just unzip it, you get into this file and just double click it. And if it's your first time opening it, you'll say that hey, uh, this might cause some risk to your computer, so open it at your own risk. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enable speed shift so we don't have to worry about everything else. So what is what it is is it is a method for governing your CPU behavior. So zero being that it will the CPU will prefer its maximum frequency. So we are going to set this to zero. And you just need to make sure that speed step and C1E is also selected. So what C1 is, is it is a power saving mechanism. Um, I, I'm, I'm not going to go too much into that detail because I don't really know too much but I know that this is what works. And as you can come on here, you can set your under FIVR, you can set this, a lot of the under voting controls are here. So what the FIVR is, it is a fully integrated voltage regulator. This is where you undervolt your system. And what we are going to do first is we are going to make sure we unlock adjustable voltage. And depending on how far your computer is able to undervolt, I know that for mine, I can go all the way up to negative 150. So I'll select 250 and I'll push this all the way to 150. Negative 150. Yep. And then once it's done, you move on to the CPU cache and do the exact same thing. Negative 150. But this really depends on your computer, so you have to, to test it out and make sure that you do not get the blue screen of death and it should work out just fine. Now the other thing that I would do, although some people will not, would be to make sure to decrease your turbo ratio limit. So at 41, what I find is that the CPU will run at 4.2 gigs and above. So what I normally do is I will flick all this back to 35. That means that it, won't, it will not run at its maximum uh, speed limit. But to me that is fine because after I've done some tests, I find that as the temperatures are cooler, the performance on the games would still not vary that much. And so we want to save voltages immediately, apply OK. And the next thing we want to go is go to TPL and to make sure that this is set to 24. 
so we want to make this a little shorter okay we have select apply and okay now the last thing I want to do is to let you know about disable turbo so what happens is that when you're using your CPU your CPU has a base clock speed and then there's a turbo clock speed so for my CPU that will be 2.4 gigs so 2400 megahertz and you can go up to 4000 or 4001 4002 so by disabling turbo what happens is that your computer will only run at its base clock speed now this is really good if you're trying to save a lot of battery power and so forth but if you don't need it and you want to play games at its maximum or at turbo boost speeds you could always disable this now what I find is that even with you disabling turbo your if you're playing triple A games it would still play at about 50 to 60 frames at about medium to high settings that depends on which games you play so even if you were to disable turbo your games will still run at a pretty good performance level on this machine so I would only use this if I want to save battery power and I'm playing games on battery but if you're playing games on the Triton 300 you would definitely want to plug it in so that is all I have for today uh, yeah. so I hope this video has helped you a lot and if it did please give me a thumbs up you will help this video to be seen by more people and in the next video we'll be exploring how to convert 8mm video tapes into a digital format now see you guys again